Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. Now, on this episode, we're going to be talking about trade crafting, uh, in particular uh, blacksmithing. I had a a comment or a request actually from uh, Brandon, who wanted to know a little bit about uh, any trade crafting in general, and I'll get over each one of them uh, one by one as I have more platinum to spend, because some of them do take quite a bit of money. Uh, like this one is something you can buy the pieces to. Whereas uh, tailoring, you need to go out and find the pieces for the most part. I mean, you can buy them off of other players, uh, but generally you're going to find them off of, uh, like spiders, you're going to find the silk off of them and, and things of that sort. So now we're going to need to buy some pieces first for tailoring, or for not tailoring, for blacksmithing, sorry. And uh, they can all be found uh, down here next to the bank in uh, the Nariat Commons. Now, if you're in a different city, uh, obviously you're going to have to go and try to find them. Uh, in each different place, and I'll do a uh, updated version as I get to each one of those cities and show you where you need to go to buy that stuff. But we're going to go ahead and talk to uh, Glaze right here. And uh, to start off with, what we're going to want to do is scroll down and look for a small piece of ore. Don't buy the brick yet, you don't need those. Uh, but you're going to need two of these small pieces of ore and one flask of water for every uh, metal bit that you make. Uh, and you're going to be making quite a few of them, so you can see that's going to add up. Uh, each one is a gold and a half, uh, so or a little bit more than a gold and a half. So what we're going to go ahead and do is only buy a few of them because, as you can see, I don't really have all that much money to spare. Uh, but we'll buy, let's say, uh, we can afford to buy uh, 12 for now because i got to save up for my next level spell. So let's go ahead and get 12. Close this down. Now we're also going to need a flask of water. Now if you come right back up the stairs open up the door and go right across the hall right here to where it says the refined palace right you want to go inside and talk to this little guy right here open up his little menu scroll down all the way to the bottom uh, and say since we bought uh, 12 and we need uh, one for every two we're gonna go ahead and get six of them don't matter if you get more than what you really need because you can drink these as well Let's go ahead and buy those those are actually really cheap, so it's not too bad. I mean, it's six or six silver for all of them, one silver for each piece. Uh, so now that you've got all the pieces you need, uh, you need to go find a forge. Well, the forge is not uh, in the forge house, which is where you'd imagine it probably would be, as well as the items you should buy. There are a few inside there, but not very many, especially at this level. Uh, and this is the forge right here in front of you. It's it's real fancy, I know. Uh, but it's it's everything you need. So all you got to do is come up to it, right click on it, or actually left click on it, I should say, and it will open up your inventory automatically and the container. Now it's very important not to stack anything you put in the container. Uh, if you stack it, it's going to mess it up and you're not going to get the, the item you need. So let's go ahead and drag one, two of these bricks, and one little flask of water. Now all you got to do is hit the combine button, and it says you lack the skill to fashion the items together uh, but you become better at blacksmithing uh, at two so you can see we failed to create an item which is the middle bits but we did get better in tradecraft now this is going to be uh, something that's going to happen you know you can always go to the guild uh, master and go ahead and train up a few points if that's what you want to do I tend to try to save my points for skills that I can't do very easily on my own so if, if you're trying to work on say uh, uh, one-handed blunt and you're level you know 60 and your your skill on that is absolutely nothing it's going to take you forever to level that up it's going to be a real pain uh, to find a creature that can't kill you but you can sit there and keep hitting it on uh, so it's something I would recommend using the points on for something like that and not this so let's go ahead and do a couple more combines uh, as you can see uh, we went ahead and leveled up to level three and we got two metal bits out of that and I'll show you what those look like right there these are the middle bits now you're probably wondering what do I use this for well a lot of recipes that you can make at a higher level uh, require these as a base you have to have the base components before you can make something a little bit more sophisticated uh, once you make that item you need that item to make something even more sophisticated so you can see it kind of builds on itself so these are not going to waste you're not just uh, using these to level up you're actually going to use these later on so you're going to be doing this regardless you might as well uh, get some skill out of it you know if you go past this with your your uh, you know just going over there and putting the points in through your guildmaster 
uh, you know, you're going to be coming over here and doing this. So, you know, don't waste the points is, is what I'm trying to get across. Now, you're going to want to do this till your skill is at level 21. At level 21, you can't do this any, or you can keep doing it. You just won't go up any higher in your level. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and do another tutorial uh, after I get to that point where I show you exactly uh, what other things you can do. And there's quite a few other things that this intersects with blacksmithing. Uh, can make like pie tins and crust, uh, you know, basically for your uh, your uh, barbecue pit thing, your little spit that can uh, cook food on the go. Uh, for those of you who are interested in that, uh, you can always just have a blacksmith uh, make those things for you. You can buy them uh, from them. But if you want to be an all-around character and be able to make everything yourself and be able to do everything yourself, uh, this is a good way to do it as well. There's also another way you can level up which is to buy a, a sharpening stone and use them on your rusty weapons. Uh, if you happen to be in a pretty big city that there's lots of people in there, you can always ask people to just sharpen their weapons for them uh, and then you give them back to them and you level up in skill and they get a better weapon that they can then sell to the merchant or even just use on their, their pet or whatever they want to use. Uh, so there are different methods to doing this, but those are the two basic ones that you really, really want to start with when you're doing your forge uh, trade crafting. And as you can see, it didn't take too long uh, to level up to level five. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's going to be a little bit of money to get you started. So you're going to really want to either have a higher level character, you know, feeding your lower level character the money or be a little bit higher level so that you can make a little bit more money. Go camp a, a name guy for a little bit and get, you know, 20, 30, 40 platinum to go ahead and give yourself a, a good start on doing your trade crafting. So again, guys, I will touch on the other uh, trade crafts uh, in future episodes. So if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, or as always, hit me up in game. Thanks again for watching.